Bobby May. Welcome. Is it here? <laughs> yes, uh, Dick's been looking forward to seeing you. Hello, Bobby May. How unusual. A complete sentence. <laughs> uh, these are my children, Ellen and Mark. Hi. <laughs> he never gave me children. Between you and me, he may be good at pumping iron, but that's it. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I think this might be a good time for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're having roast beef this evening, just the way Mr. Redneck likes it. Medium alive. <laughs> Have you been able to get him to use utensils yet? We would have used them in our house if the silverware pattern had been fungus. Listen, my dead mama gave us that silver, and that's why I didn't wash it. And that's why she's dead. Oh, yeah, Bobby, yeah. Yeah. Bobby, Bobby May. I married you. Bobby May, Bobby May, Redneck. I'm Bobby May. <laughs> Bobby May. You two have to stop this bickering. It's not getting us any place. And you have to stop attacking each other and work out the problems. Now, I know you both have complaints. Listen, I know it may be hard to believe, but I am insecure. Beneath all of this beauty is a frightened little girl who needs loving, attention, and tenderness. Are you trying to say I'm not tender? You got it. Say that again and I'll rip your face off. I don't know why I bother to come over here. You're just too hard to deal with. So go. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Let her go. Good riddance. I'm going and I'm not coming back. No, you don't want to go. Who needs her? I'll just spend the rest of my life here with my real friends. <laughs> my God, she tracked in some mud. Bring me the vacuum cleaner. <laughs>